What is up? What is up? What is up? We are on here a couple minutes late because we were broadcasting in private for about three minutes, but uh, I figured it out. And uh, but we made it. You know, the tech might not be 100% there today, but it's casual. It's just friends. It's just family, the DreamWax family. We're going to rip some cards together. This was invite only. You're in if you're in. There's nobody else is getting in. And uh, we're just, this is my thank you to the guys who supported the DreamWax vision. We're going to give away some cards for free. We're going to rip some great classic wax. And uh, what's up, Joey? What's up, Chase? Welcome back, man. Holy moly. What a crazy couple months, huh? I hope everybody is safe and blessed and doing all right. I know it's been trying times uh, for everybody since we last spoke. But, uh, man, you know, I hope you guys are hanging in there, making the best of it. You know, I know I am. I'm, I'm trying to be really intentional with family. I've been hanging a ton with my two little girls and my wife, um, making the best of it. You know, you got to make the best of a tough situation. We've been really... Uh, Honestly, prayerful in this season, very meditative, um, just sinking into our hearts and sinking into the spirit and talking to God and, you know, using this, using this pause, this great pause as an opportunity to like still ourselves and, and find the way forward. So I hope you're finding some resonance of that and, you know, just wherever you're at, you're blessed, you're safe, you're good. And uh, what else? Hey, let me know how the stream is. We are in a new location. We're at my house. We're at my new house. Uh, in the spare bedroom um, and so we don't have all the technical bells and whistles that we did have before but I think it should be good I did some test runs doesn't look like we're having any drop frames and the stream looks all right so let me know in the let me know in the chat how it's looking and uh, yeah 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 let me know how everybody's doing drop me a line say what's up in the meantime let's get to some Make sure we're recording because if there's any issues with, with YouTube or anything like that, we will have the recording. We'll upload the recording. Uh, make sure you guys get your correct cards. And what are, we, oh, what are we ripping today? I don't even have my smorgasbord lined up. I mean, I know I'm so rusty. So we've got, let's see, 82 top cello baseball. You know, we're still chasing Bo Jackson in 88 tops football. We got some 86 Fleer. We've never, we never broke one of these. So I've got one and I love the design and I don't even know who we're looking for in this one, but we'll find out. We got our classic legend 89 Fleer basketball. We've already pulled, I think, a couple Jordan stickers out of here. So we're looking for Jordan base, of course. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do some of these. You know, we're still uh, we are still looking for Patrick Mahomes rookie. Patrick Mahomes rookie, come on, come on, where you at? We gotta find that. That's like 200 250 bucks, and so we're we're looking for those. We're going to give away some of our wrappers from our last break, and so we're going to put those into the mix. And then our headline event, again, this is all free. Uh, shipping's on me. You guys were put in because you supported the vision. You supported us. You hung out with us. Um, so I wanted to make sure we broke something really nice and had a go at something really big. So we've got an 88 Fleer basketball. Not graded, but again, all of my stuff. Besides the graded stuff, the graded stuff that I would get on auction, I would get in different places, but all my nicer, higher end, um, sealed material comes from BBCE, Baseball Card Exchange. They are the most trustworthy name in all of un uh, unopened wax material. If you're looking to crack something on your own, you know, you know, and get something open during, you know, quarantine time, um, stop by BBCE, baseballcardexchange.com, or just Google BBCE. And you can get all sorts of stuff in there. Anything from ten dollar boxes of junk wax all the way up to three thousand dollar, you know, packs of nineteen sixty something wax tops. You know, they got they got amazing selection. And just so you know, BBCE, the guys there, Steve, the owner, is actually the guy who um, that PSA sends unopened material. So when PSA is uh, about to grade a pack as as you know as a grade to see if it's authentic. They send it to Steve at BBCE. He either says yes or no. Then they send it back to PSA and they grade it, you know, one through ten or whatever. So that's how trustworthy BBC is. They're great guys. You guys have seen the stuff that comes out of there. Cal Ripken rookies, Jordans. I mean, Jordans on the back of the pack or on the front of the pack. We've seen those. They could easily searched them 
They don't. They're, they're legit. They've sent us Hall of Fame packs with Hall of Famers on the front. So check them out. BBC. I'm not getting anything for it. I just want to point you guys in a fun direction. Um, Chase Lively says this, the, the stream is smooth. So yes, I'm glad because I was worried. We had to kind of change some settings here in the last 20 minutes because I was having some bad test runs. But that's good. I'm glad. So enough chat. You know, people pop in that watch this on Restream, whatever. Um, I'm going to randomize the what we're breaking i'm going to randomize that first um and and that's going to give us the order although wherever the 88 lands that's going to be last no questions asked so let me pull up my list let me pull up my list this is what we're ripping actually i don't even really need to put it in here um but that's it that's that's our break list tonight i'm going to go to my random that's what i need to pull up i need to pull up the random Where is it? Where is random? Come on. Why is it not showing up? Oh, no. Hold on. Let's see. There it is. There it is. Say cancel. Okay. There's the random. By the way, if you hear my family in the background or a little girl comes in and says hi, just roll with it. Just roll with it. That's how we roll. We're, we're a wild family. Um, that's just how we, we, we get going. So... Random. We're going to randomize one time. This is going to be the order. I'm going to get rid of the 88 uh, Fleer Basketball because that's going to go last no matter what. But then we're going to randomize the rest of the order. And so here we go. One time. Boom. That is our order. I'm going to save it. All right. So 88 Tops Wax is first. Then we're going to do our three vintage wrappers. Those are going to go to three, you guys. Um... Then the 86 Fleer Cello, and then 82 Top Cello, 89 Fleer Wax Pack, and football. And then to close it out, we're doing 88. We're doing the 88 Fleer Basketball. So there's our there's our stuff. So you guys also see that, um, you know what? It's getting really hot in here, so I'm going to crack my... That's nice. That's nice. I know it's a bad look. It's a bad look to have something light behind somebody, but we're just going to roll with it because it's, it's getting hot in here. This room is so hot. It's weird. So um, let's dive in. So you guys are going to notice that uh, I gave anywhere from, I think, one to three spots, maybe four for like one or two guys that were like incredibly um, – blessful to the to the vision here that, that, that bought a lot of product and really supported us um, if you got in on the free frenzy and you just got the free slot every week um, and you just hung out that's great you're in we're, we're getting you in there uh, but you only got one spot so there's going to be multiple names for certain people that's just how I roll my, my frenzy my rules love you guys all and it's, you're all going to get in on something um, and we're probably going to do about three rotations you'll probably get at least three pulls like we're used to oh be one one more th Two minute onslaught. As you guys have seen in the email, we have a very special gift from one of our best supporters, Jay Reynolds. He made Dreamwax shirts for us, and I mean, just like as a blessing to the to the company, as a blessing to what we're doing. He's he, you know, really enjoyed um, getting in on the breaks. He got in on a ton. Um, he was active in the chat. I, I think he's he's up in the mountains trout fishing or something right now. So he'll be watching this on rerun. So, uh, Jay, we, we miss you. Check this out on replay, and God bless you, man. And um, everybody, not even on the frenzy, all you guys can get in on this. Um, you're going to get a free shirt. We're giving you free shirts with your cards, a free Dream Wax shirt going out to you. If you haven't already, email me your shirt size or put it in the chat, um, and I will, uh, I'll, I'll add that to your, to your pack. Otherwise, I'll just probably send a large. So let me know, guys, what shirt you want, what size. It's going to come with these cards in the next week. And, uh, you know, oh, check out uh, Jay's print company. He's a, he's a graphic designer and has a print business. And he's like, he's got some crazy promotions going for um, businesses. If you're a small business and uh, if you're a small business and you're, and you're, and you're uh, you know, looking for some extra promotion during the quarantine, Jay is offering a free sign package. Um, he is offering a free sign package. Uh, 
to help advertise your business. So you can check him out at J Ray Graphics. That's J A Y R E Y graphics.com so i'll follow up with an email it's in the email the last email i sent i'll send it out again um but super cool dude check out his business for any of your printing needs your design needs um he ships he works remotely just a really good dude and he blessed us and he's blessing you guys by giving you free shirts so anyways let's get into it 17 minutes in we were five minutes late because and uh let's start breaking so what's going on in the chat we got a few people streaming right now let me know if there's any issues. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts. I know we haven't wrapped in a while, so like, what's everybody feeling? What's what's going on with the draft? What's, who, who is your team picking? What are the Lions gonna do? Are we going to um, are we gonna are we gonna get Tua? Are we gonna draft Tua in the three spot? Are we gonna trade the three spot to Miami and then we're gonna get uh, Okuda, who everybody thinks we're going after? Oh, we didn't even we didn't get the names. We didn't get the names. Hold on, gotta get the names. Gotta get the names. I'm breaking cards. I don't even know who they go to yet. So. Um, here's our list. Let's go back to our random. There's our list. We're going to do three times. I don't have my dice with me, but we're just going to do three times. Three is good. One, two, three. That is our list. All right, let's go back. So we are, we've got 48 entries, 48 names total between the, the multiples and all that. So let me make sure I get this list down. Okay. So let's do the first 24 and then the second 24. We'll do 24 at a time. our list let's get rid of our logo make some room for for the crew make some room for the crew there we go all right any other admin anything i'm forgetting i'm, I'm so rusty but it's all good it's all good uh anything else we need anything else we need i think we're good we're gonna dive in we're gonna do two packs we're looking for bo jackson uh, let me pull up some, um, I haven't even been on vintage card prices in so long. Am I still logged in? I'm still logged in. All right. All right. I know we're looking for, if I remember correctly, Bo Jackson rookie. We're going top to bottom as usual. Bo Jackson rookie. There's the top. And just to just to blow through it all, we're gonna we're gonna crack both of them right now, and we'll just go straight from the top to bottom. So there's top, top, bottom, top, bottom. So we'll go 88. All right, and spot number one, Peyton Geisler, Raul Ulrich. Spot number two, Chris Gayton, Randy Wright. We're looking for Hall of Fame. We're looking for all the legends. But we are also looking for Bo Jackson. Spot number three, Clyde Simmons. Spot number three is Kyle Stinchcomb. Spot number four, Tony Casillas. That's Ryan Stefanski. All right, I'm pulling up the names as we. All right, so Bo Jackson, we're looking for Bo Jackson, $308, PSA 10. That's what we're looking for. Lions team leaders, 162. Mark Murphy, 150. And then we got a bunch of guys at 70, 80 bucks, uh, a bunch of random guys, but you know, we're looking for Hall of Famers. We're looking for John Bosa's 50 bucks. That's the Bosa dad. Uh, spot number five, Timmy Smith, rookie, super rookie. 
Well-centered. 88 was when they started getting a little better. Big borders, though, so you can tell right away. Don Griffin, spot six. Spot seven, Gary Anderson. Oh, oh that's a nice 1,000-yard club. Spot number eight, a beautiful for spot number eight. Let's see. We went NFL, NSM Sports Cards in five, Robert Bisson in six, seven was Matt Folk. And spot eight, you get a beautiful Gabriel Lascano. You get a nice Jerry Rice 1,000 yard card. We, we've seen a bunch of these 1,000 yard cards. We haven't seen anybody good. So that's the first really good one we've seen out of all these packs, out of all the 1,000, the 88 football packs. So I'm glad we finally got a good Hall of Famer. Um, spot number nine. Joe Nash. Let's go into Randall Whittinghill. Spot number 10, Steve Largent. Hall of Fame receiver. 15 bucks in a 10. But you know, our first Hall of Famer. I wish I'm like, my instinct is to go for my button, my my zombie or something. Whoa. But I, I didn't even I don't even have my sampler today. Because like I said, we're low tech. This is this is the quarantine version. Of the broadcast so but nice beautiful first hall of famer spot number 11 that was spot 10 well let's see where are we at spot number 10 steve largent that goes to anthony black spot number 11 jim collins spot number 12 calvin mcgee come on bo jackson we're looking for a bo jackson rookie that's who we're looking for we've been we've been buying these packs we've gone through like eight or ten of them and we have not hit the Bo Jackson. I do see a blue. I see a blue down there. So that could be it. Uh, we got Michael Carter for spot number 13. Jay Reynolds. Joseph Smith. You Joseph Young. You're in spot 12. Robert Bisson says, good to hear you, KT. It's good to see you guys. It's good to call out the names. It's good to uh, see everybody back in the... Uh, this is like the forced frenzy. You guys had no choice. Like You might not even know about it. Some people might not check their email. They might not know about it. Like next week, cards are just going to show up at their house because this is I'm just forcing these cards on you guys. Spot 14, Philip Epps. Chris Vogel. Chris Vogel's one of the old school crew from the very beginning. Spot number 15, Mosi Tatapu. Tatupu, Tatupu. Spot number 16, Tony Collins. Nice cards. Sharp, sharp, sharp. That's Jason Kaiser. Spot number 17. We got a 49er, but it's Dana McLemore. Man, I mean, we got the Steve Largent, but we need some more Hall of Fame. We need some more F F -O -F H -O -F action. H-O-F action. Rick Carlos. Kicker, spot number 18. That is Corey Ramsey. Spot number 19, Dwight Stevenson. So, I mean, I, I let you guys know on the last broadcast, uh, on the final one, you know, I, about my, about some of the other guys in the space. It looks like justripit.com is blowing up. Like, they're broadcasting almost every day. They're a great... Um, company that does similar to what we do. I think I'm more fun, but, uh, you know, Charlie there at Just Rip It is a, is a load of fun. He's a lot of fun. He's a wild man. Um, check those guys out. That is spot number 20. Um, they're, I'm just being honest. Their prices are a little higher. I, I never really liked their prices. Um, I always actually would look at their prices and be like, okay, I'm going to make sure that I'm, because I just feel like, it's a little high, but and they also only do higher end stuff, which is cool. Great, they're 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 crushing it. They're busy, so God bless them. Do their thing. But I like that we did smaller end things as well as some higher end things to give to give people more opportunity to get in to 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 have more fun with the chase. Um, but if you're looking for lower end stuff, you know five, ten, even three dollar breaks, fifteen dollar, twenty dollar breaks in, in vintage wax, uh, you have vintagebreaks.com. They're not as fun. It's not as dramatic. You know, a little drier production and broadcasting, but you can get in on breaks. You can get in on breaks for as low as three dollars. You can get in on breaks, and they have—I mean—they break for like six hours a day. So check them out. I don't know what they're doing during the quarantine, but 
vintagebreaks.com, justripit.com. Those are two great sources that are doing what dreamwax.shop did. And uh, yeah, so that's spot number 22, Dennis McKinnon. Spot number 23, Brian Hansen. All right, we got a, we got a third Hall of, a Hall of Fame action here. Spot number 24, rounding out the first rotation. Jay Reynolds, my man, you got James Lofton, 1,000 Yard Club. So we'll take it. I mean, there's three Hall of Famers so far, two packs. But let's let's get that bow. Bow knows. Come on, this is our last swing for the fences. Let's let's get some Bo Jackson action, you know? So, uh, spot number, oh, 25. We're at 25. Let's flip the list. Flip the list. Twenty-five through forty-eight coming up. What's going on here? Hold on. Where's number twenty-five? Looks like we lost twenty. Oh, we lost. We just lost the two. That's all. We lost the two. We lost the two on twenty-five. Cancel. Where are we at? Where are we at? 25, 26, 27. All right, that's making sense. That's making sense. Stretch this out a little bit. You guys don't need to see that beautiful Jay Reynolds printed shirt. You're going to get one in the mail. We can cover that up a little bit. But it's sharp, though. It's sharp. I love it. I've been rocking it. I, I'll be honest. I took like three for myself because that's how I roll. I, you guys aren't mediums anyways. Nobody's a medium. I'm, I'm little. Everyone's like large, extra large. You know, you guys would be set. I'm medium. So, 25. We are on Bill Moss. And that's Chase Lively. Spot number 26, Gary Zimmerman. I'll be honest, I'm not feeling really good for a bow right now. I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But, you know, let's see if we can get there. Spot number 27, Daryl Talley. Let's see if I'm wrong. Spot number 28, Michael Downs. Spot number 29, Colts in action. Dickerson finds an opening. Eric Dickerson, legendary Colts running back. Am I right there? So, yeah, Eric Dickerson, 1,000-yard rusher that year. So, spot number 29. So, that's a Hall of Fame card. Hall of Fame card right there. That's John Thomas. Spot number 30, Dale Hatcher. Spot number 31, Jay Reynolds, Ray Donaldson. Spot number 32, closing us out, Tim Crumry. As you guys know, I, I might not call the number on every card because it was just, it was just the common and you know, we want to keep it moving, but of course, if it's a bigger card, I will definitely call your name, and I'll call a lot of names anyways as we number. You guys can always look at the screen, see where you're at, see where what number you are, see where you're coming up. Uh, real quick, let's look at those. We got a couple, you know, those beautiful um, Hall of Fame. Uh, what is that one? I didn't, I didn't sleeve it right. Um, we got two nice thousand yarders. So we can get a little value on those right now. Tops Thousand Yard Club in a PSA 10. We are looking for Jerry Rice is 15 bucks. And Lofton is $9. So nothing to shake a stick at there, but uh, still some beautiful Hall of Fame action. We will take it. And we're going to move right into, they came up in the random. We've got our three packs from, from our cracks from last time. We're going to randomize them. Um, oh no, we're not going to randomize them. They're in the randomizer. So spot number, how did I have them? I had them. This is how we had them. Spot number 33, Chase Lively, you are getting... You are getting the 1980 Topps Basketball wrapper. Uh, we pulled a Magic Johnson rookie out of this one. It was uh, um, He was the middle card. I forget who else was on it, but we pulled 
I forget who else we pulled, but we it was it was it was a nice pack. Um, I think we had a Kareem Abdul Jabbar in there. This was all in the last show. You can obviously go back and watch it. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I will do it this way. Um, you can go back and watch, rewatch the broadcast. But we had a beautiful pack. I mean, we didn't have the huge money cards, but we did have a we did have a Magic Johnson rookie. That's not with me either. We're just gonna I'm just gonna hard fold it. Sorry, hard fold it, and then dip it in here. Put in your collection and worth a few bucks, five ten bucks, maybe a little more. Um, the packs go for three hundred or so now. So, but yeah, we we had. A, I was really happy. The last card, I think it was. The mid, I didn't see it when we opened it because it was a checklist in the middle and the checklist was actually Magic Johnson on the other side and that's his rookie that's a rookie year. he has like four or five different variations of his rookie card in that set in in the three different cards and that was one of them so somebody got a Magic Johnson rookie card out of that pack it was beautiful so spot number 34 David Mackey you got an 87 clear basketball pack beautiful Jordan's second year in that series that is a $200 pack of cards, somewhere around that ballpark. And then a skyrocketing, I don't know how much these are now. They were 100 and, 100 and something, or no, uh, I can't remember. They, but they've just been going crazy ever since the, George, the, the Jeter rookie a month and a half ago sold at auction. Before this auction, it was 70 grand in a PSA 10 for the Jeter rookie out of, out of this series. It sold for like 140 or something, ridiculous. It, it over doubled. Um, with all the fees and everything, so that pack has been skyrocketing. I was glad we were able to crack one here. Um, we, we pulled a beautiful um, foil card, but it wasn't Jeter, obviously, and I don't think it was a Hall of Famer. But um, this, this one goes to spot number 35, and that is Ryan Stefanski. You get the 93 Baseball SP Pack wrapper. Moving on, spot number 36. We're going to kick off. You're going to get that top card. Ryan Spansky as well. 86 Fleer Basketball. We never broke these before. We've never broken 86 Fleer, ba Fleer Baseball. So we got, I got to see what's in here. Who, who can let me know in the chat? What, what am I looking for in here? What are we looking for in the Fleer Baseball? I'm sure there's some amazing rookies, some 80s. Milt Wilcox. Look at that. Milt Wilcox on the back. I love it. I love it. I know there's some rookies and some early career cards. Is Canseco in here? Well, Cal Ripken's in here. That's a you know great Hall of Famer, um, but not, not as rookie. We're gonna be going for his rookie next in the '82. Like I said, we never broke these. I ordered a couple things right before we closed down that I wanted to see. I just love it. Love this. Look at this. I mean, it's like bring, brings back to my. I was nine years old when this came out. I love it. Beautiful cards. So we are looking for. Let's see. We got all of them. PSA 10. It's not, it's not a big it's not a big expensive set. But you have major league prospects. That's somebody's you got Nolan Ryan for 100 bucks. You got George Bell for 60 bucks. Eric Davis, $55. Roger Clemens, $55. Tim Raines. I don't know if these are rookies or not, but those are some really great cards. Um, let's see who the major league prospects is. That is that is the Jose Canseco. Okay. So we got Jose Canseco. I'm looking up real quick to see who the uh, who the who the highlights are. Nolan Ryan, Pete Rose, beautiful cards. Cecil Fielder, rookie. Jose Canseco, rookie. Ricky Henderson, of course. This is not showing me the key rookies. So those are all guys that are in here. Let me see if I can find the key rookies real quick. Says Nolan Ryan's a key rookie, but he's always a key card. Paul O'Neill rookie. So, spot number 36. Pete Filson starting us out. Ryan Savansky, spot number 37. Dan Pasqua. It's Gabriel Lascano is getting that card. Key cards. Jose Canseco, Paul O'Neill. That's what I'm seeing. Which I feel like the other list gave me more. So, 
Jim Wynn, spot number 38. William Smith, Z. William Smith, apparently, according to my list. Spot number 39, Bob Boone. It's going to David Mackey. Spot number 40, Ray Fontenot. Good centering. Nice centering on these cards. Super sharp and beautiful. Let's see some Hall of Fame action now. Dave Henderson. Spot number 41. I want to see that Jose Canseco. I want to see P. Rose, too. Those are my guys. Those are the two guys I want to see. I want to see Jose. I don't think we pulled a Jose Canseco rookie on the show. So let's see if we can get one of those. Spot number 42, Ray Searage. That's a great name. I think, it, I think he was a Tiger. Dave Rosema. Pretty sure he was a Tiger. Yeah, beginning of his career. First six, seven year, eight year, nine years, something like that. Dave Rosema, classic, legendary. Detroit Tiger pitcher, spot number 43, that's Corey Ramsey. Spot number 44, Brad Wellman. Randall Whittinghill, you're back to back here. Spot number 44, spot number 45, Craig Reynolds. Spot number 46, I saw the A's and I'm thinking, Come on, let's get some let's get some Jose Canseco action going. Steve McCaddy. Oh, <laughs> right underneath it, I seen a uh, a prospect, but actually, there's a nice prospect on there. A couple nice prospects coming on. In spot number forty-seven. There is no PSA tens on this guy. But you got Mickey Brantley and Bob Woodward. I remember some buzz on Mickey Brantley back in the 80s. That is going to Joseph Young. But yeah, I saw the uh, the prospects card. I got a little excited. You know, I remember seeing that Cal Ripken 82 tops. <laughs> Go watch that video from a few from a few streams before we ended. That was beautiful, beautiful card, Cal Ripken. It's, uh, I think it's six six hundred fifty dollars and a ten, and it was pretty sharp. So, spot number 48, closing out our first rotation on the break. Rich Bordy. All right, so we're, we're through our first rotation, getting into ro the second part of the rotation. Man, uh, I would like to see a little more action. I mean, we I think we're going to get close to three, three, three pulls for each one of you guys. So, um, give or take. Um, I, I know we'll get into the third one. I don't know if we get to the fourth one. And I don't know if we'll finish the third one. But we got a good amount. I tried to line it up. So we got a good 100, uh, 120, 110, 120, 130 pulls. So Danny Tartable, we're spot number one. We're back to number one. Let me flip the list. All right. Flip the list. Peyton Geisler, you're in the one spot. You got Danny Tartable. I remember that name. I remember some Danny Tartable. I'll tell you what. It's my frenzy, my rules. We're going to do two stickers to whoever number two is. That's Chris Gayton. You're going to get some Angels, Giants stickers, which, to be honest, I probably should break them up because a Giants sticker is probably much better to have or an Angel sticker than a common 86. But Wayne, uh, speaking of common 86, Wayne K Kinky for spot number three. Kyle Stinchcomb. Man, we need to get some names going on. Maybe maybe all the name action is, is, is waiting in the 88 Fleer basketball pack. John Denny, spot number four. Terry Harper, spot number five. Dwayne Walker, spot number six. Spot number seven, Steve Lyons. Spot number eight, Mark Clear. Come on, we need some prospect cards. Let me see. This is Nolan Ryan, Pete Rose, prospects. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with the mojo. The Jesus mojo. Let's throw it on this pack. Let's get some Hall of Fame action. Let's see some 
It's Nolan Ryan. That's a name. I mean, you know, name I, I haven't heard in a long time, but uh, legendary pitcher. Spot number nine, you got Terry Kennedy. Spot number 10, you got some Floyd Bannister. I remember growing up with that name around. Playing for the Mariners, White Sox, Astros early on. Floyd Bannister. Ten bucks in a ten, you know. Whatever. Spot number 11, Rich Thompson. It's going to Steve Larkin. Spot number 12, Rich Dower. Man, I'm slow rolling at the bottom, trying to get trying to get a name. Come on, don't waste this. It's the 186 Fleer Pack we're doing. I don't even think we've seen a Hall of Famer. Spot number 13, we said we had one prospect card, and it was nobody's, you know, per se. And no Hall of Famers. Brad Kaminsky. Spot number 13, Jay Reynolds. Spot number 14, Chris Brown, before he had a hip-hop career. Terrible joke. Just trying to salvage this, this crap pack, I think, that we have had. So Tim Tufel. Spot number 15, that's Tom Gatos. And yeah, that's right, I forgot that we had a name at the very beginning. We've got Milt Wilcox, pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. So, I mean, you know, for me, that's like a microscopic salvage of the pack. That goes to Jason Kaiser. Let's take one more look, but I think we're flushing this bad boy. I think it is going down the tubes. You know, some... Actually, honestly, you know what's funny? Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, we've got Dave Rosma. I think, honestly, this, okay, one, if I had my flushing action, my, my, my samples, this would be a crap pack down the drain. But I think the best thing we got, Kyle, Chris Gayton, you get the two stickers. I think that's the best part of this whole pack. So you're, you're the winner, winner, chicken dinner on this nasty, ugly pack. So let's just flush it. And let's move right into this pristine, solidly wrapped 82 tops. Let's let's get that let's get that taste out of our mouth. Oh, oh, come on, Fleer, come on, 86 Fleer. We took a shot on you, and you're gonna do that to us? Oh my goodness! You're killing you're killing me, Smalls. You are killing me. You are killing me, Smalls. All right, let's see. Cardboard Connection. They always give good top cards. We're looking for Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card, Lee Smith rookie card, Dave Stewart rookie card, Chili Davis rookie card, Kent Herbeck rookie card. We're looking for Nolan Ryan. Any? Oh, oh, by the way, guys, there is an amazing community on Facebook. It's called, I gotta see what it is called. It's called like Vintage unopened like it's unopened vintage wax or something it's real basic but there is like hundreds and hundreds vintage wax and packs join the group it's this one join that group get in there it is awesome you can buy material you can just look at material they people share stuff all the time they sell stuff all the time it's a policed group make sure you still double check make sure that it's somebody who's done business there before but they try to police it. So if somebody's selling, generally it's a it's straight up legit seller. It's a good guy. Um, but uh, the guy that runs the group, Kurt, he loves, for some reason, he's got an infatuation with Kurt Herbick. And he has like all the packs from the 80s with Kent, with Kent Herbick on the front, on the, on the cover. And he just like loves that guy. So it was funny. It's funny that... Uh, Key, key baseball cards. Cardboard Connection considers the Cur the Kent Herbuck. Um, I don't even know how to say that name. Kent H E H R B E K. Rookie. The Kent Herbuck rookie as a key card in there. So he loves him. Kent Cur uh, Kurt loves him. And join that group. Vintage. 
I like just sitting on there watching the cars, looking at people share what they have. But then also I've, I've bought a number of things. I bought stuff we broke here on that site. Again, we're looking for Pete Rose. We're looking for Pete Rose action. We're looking for Nolan Ryan action. Um, all those guys. So again, if you're in the chat, pop in and say hello. Say what's up. Chit chat with me a little bit if you want. I see we've got a handful of people logged in right now, five or six people. Just say what's up. Let me see who's tuned in. Um, why is Tom Seaver 1200 bucks? That's what I gotta see. It says there's a Tom Seaver went for twelve hundred dollars. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it was a autograph. I don't. There was a ten, a, a PSA ten. Must be a really rare PSA ten. It says Tom Seaver goes for twelve hundo. And um, the I see that the our um, Cal Ripken is up to. Um, well, we're going top to bottom. This is our top, right? The Cal Ripken is up to 700 plus, so not going to shake a stick at that. Um, 710, Reggie Jackson just sold for $800. So we got some Lee Smith is 700. Nolan Ryan's 500. Carl Yuskramski's 450. So we got some action. Any Hall of Fame action, we'll look up. In the meantime, spot number 17, Andre Thornton. That's Robert Bisson. Spot number 18, Corey Ramsey, Bob Lacey. Couple, you know, these, these really tight um, cellos can have a couple of corner issues in the top, top, top couple cards. But it looks like card number three is showing up quite nicely. We're back to our sharp corners. Spot number 19, Steve Larkin. You get Lynn McLaughlin. Spot number 20, Jerry Remy. Spot number 21, Ricky Keaton. Beautiful checklist in spot number 22. Centering looks pretty good. Checklists graded and in high grades can go for some money because they're hard to find because people were writing on them back in the 80s. So if you're ever throwing like a, a, a bulk to PSA and you've got a really nice checklist, throw it in there. Eight bucks. Maybe it'll come back a high grade and you'll get 50 bucks for it or 100 bucks. Who knows? Um, ch vintage checklists carry value. Spot number 23, spot number 23, Randy Lurch. Spot number 24, Rick Sutcliffe. We've got a, a home run leaders coming up. And we got a Rick Sutcliffe. Spot number 24. 30 bucks. Rick Sutcliffe, 30 bucks in a 10, off center, top to bottom. It's bottom of 24. That's Jay Reynolds. Now we're going to flip our list. Flipping our list. Checking our list twice. Okay, spot number 25, Chase Lively. Ooh, we've got some nice back to back cards here. We've got some nice back to back cards. Home run, 81 home run leaders with Mike Schmidt, Dwight Evans, and Eddie Murray. Boom, That there, there's a zombie. There's a zombie nation right there. We'd be firing off some fireworks right now with that one. So Chase Lively, you got the night, the, probably the best hit of the day so far. Let's see what we got on here. Sp uh, 162. Okay, we're looking at $23 and a 10. But you got... Three Hall of Famers right there. That's a beautiful card. So not going to shake a stick. It feels unclimactic without my without my bells and whistles. So it definitely seems a little unclimactic without my horn because that would be a horn. Another horn would be right here with a Steve Carlton highlight for Xavier Gakus. And there you go, an 81 highlight, Steve Carlton. Not bad. Spot number, card number, card number one. That's always good. Because this top card was always damaged. So you're talking $37. No, $22. And the Steve Carlton. Still $22 bucks for free. Hall of Famer. Not bad. $22 and a free t-shirt for free. We'll take it. Another checklist. Top to bottom issues. Spot number 27. 
Spot number 28, Jim Tracy. Spot number 29, Ryan Wathan. A beautiful, beautiful Future Prospects rookie card coming up, but does not look like anybody huge. Oh, and it's, is it, it's the gum card. Oh, okay. Thank God it wasn't our, uh, it was, I'm, I'm just going to declare it. Thank God it wasn't our Cal Ripken Jr. that's in here getting the gum card. That's forthcoming. I'm prophesying it. We got Glenn Brummer, Louis DeLeon, and Gene Roof. And, oh, the gum. Gum came off really easy. That was that's a good card. That's a good salvation right there, because um, the, the that was the gum card. So let's double check, make sure there's no value. I remember Luis De Leon. Twenty bucks, twenty bucks in a ten. You know, to be honest, it, it's pretty nice. Centering is quite quite nice. And there's no gum residue. Gum was like perfectly came off. So, spot number thirty one. If it's if it's a good card. We'll give it to you if it's nobody. Spot. Is that a who is that? Who's on there? The gum? Can break that. Joel Youngblood. So we won't give that to anybody. But spot number 31. UL Washington. Goes to George Pastino. Spot number 32, Ron Hodges. Spot number 33, we've got Ed Miller. Oh, we've got some Hall of Fame action. I don't know how many, I don't think we pulled many of this guy, and he's one of my favorites from when I was growing up for my few years in Cincinnati. Beautiful, legendary Johnny Bench. Okay, I'm going to be gentle with this because there's some value here. One, it's Hall of Fame action. The corners are a little, got a little love on them, to be honest. Um... So I don't think it's going to flirt with a 10. The corners are just a little bit of love. Spot number 34, who's this? David Mackey. I, I still, I want to reach for my power button, my, my zombie nation button. Johnny Bench, $200 in a 10 right here. Hall of Fame, Cincinnati Reds. One of my favorite Reds. I would say Pete Rose. Johnny Bench. You know, you can't, that, those are my guys. My guys, so... Big hit right there. But David Mackey, you got yourself the biggest the biggest 10 value card of the day. Johnny Bench, $200 into 10. Nice one. My Cincinnati Reds. Mario Mendoza, spot number 35. Ryan Stefanski, you're back-to-back, 35-36. You get Dave Ford. 37 is Rick Weiss. Oh, 38, Williams, Z. William Smith. You got another huge, huge Hall of Famer. The end of this pack is picking up some steam. Pick it. Whoa, we're picking up some heavy steam, guys. The end of this pack is like Hall of Fame action for days. George Brett, All-Star. 20 bucks in a 10. Going to spot number 38. That's Z. William Smith. David Mackey, you're like on fire, bro. Because you just hit another huge, well-centered, massive Hall of Famer. Where's my buttons? Where's my buttons when I need them? Mike Schmidt. David Mackey, you, you're sitting in the sweet spot. Am I right? Am I getting this right? Did you get... I, because I, I remember correctly, David Mackey, you just got the... Uh, Didn't you get the other? Was it the Steve Carlton? What'd you get? Hold on. Where are we at? You got the Johnny Bench, and here you are five cards later getting the Mike Schmidt. Holy moly. Dude, David Mackey, you're in the sweet spot today. You are in this, you're on you're on the hot streak. Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. Number 100, $100, $110 in a 10. You just pulled $300 in 10s, if they're 10s. Dave Mackey, you're in the hot spot, my man. Spot number 40, Steve Renko. Man, sometimes it just runs like that. 
you're in the spot, man. Woo, you're going to open that pack and be like, if you're not tuned in live, you're going to open that pack, open your box and be like, dang, bro. 82 is nice to you. Spot number 41, George Hendrick. Spot number 42, Brad Havens. Spot number 43, Mike Squires. Spot number 44, Brian Downing. And a National League All-Star closing us out. Not Hall of Famer, but still beautiful. Back of the pack, All-Star, George Foster. Closing us out for spot number 45. Closing out the 82. So no Cal Ripken. Oh, no. No Cal Ripken. We were, so for one for two, 37 bucks, $37. There's an error version with no autograph, and that's worth $7. But this version is worth $37, so I'll, I'll sleeve it for you. And that, again, goes to Randall Whittinghill. Appreciate you guys, man. I'm, I'm really happy I can do this for you guys. Throw out some cards. Throw out some free breaks to everybody who supported our vision here at DreamWax.shop. I had a blast. It broke my heart to, to shut it down, but I just feel that my path in life is leading me back to full-time music. And uh, I just, I need to shelve this. And, and who knows, maybe we'll come back to it down the road. You, you know, it'll probably be a while because I feel like some things are really popping off in music. But, you know, and, and I've been thinking about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some stuff on my own. Maybe I'll just do videos. Maybe I'll do videos while I break for me or something. I don't know. And just keep the Dream Wax branding going. Who knows? But love cards. Cards, sports cards, collectibles have come alive for me in this season of my life again. And I'm just really appreciative of you guys going on that journey with me. So. We're about to wrap into the third swing. Next up on our break list is 89 Lear Basketball. By the way, let's recap our last pack. So George Foster, All-Star. Mike Schmidt, $110. George Brett, All-Star. Johnny Bench, $200. Legendary Hall of Fame, Reds. We got a nice future stars for the Cardinals. And then a back-to-back -back Steve Carlton. With a beautiful home runs, Mike Schmidt again in the pack. Mike Dwight Evans, I guess he's not Hall of Fame. But Dwight Evans, Eddie Murray, Dwight Evans, legendary Met, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so that was a nice pack. That actually was a very nice pack. I mean, we didn't get the top creme de la creme cards: Nolan Ryan, Cal Ripken Jr. But we got some beautiful Hall of Fame guys. So I love it. I'm happy with that pack. That's a beautiful pack. That redeemed our '86 horse manure pack we just did. '89 Fleer basketball. We're looking for stickers. We're looking for Jordan. Fleer. Basketball. Jordan, 1700 bucks in a 10. Looking for the Jordan sticker. We're looking for Jordan base. This is still a really good set. I think we're at 150 bucks in the Jordan. If we hit the Jordan in the 88, that's like 600 last I checked, and that was a month ago. It could be eight, nine hundred now. So Jordan is 360. 360. Am I on the right year? 360 in a 10. Albert Robertson's 180 bucks. Am I right here? Let me double check. 89 Fleer basketball. All right. Rolando Blackman's 100 bucks. Carl Malone's $60. Love it. But we're looking for Jordan Base at $360. And we are looking for Jordan Sticker at $1,700. So we're going top to bottom. Spot number 46. Jason Kaiser, you've already hit the jackpot because the, the most valuable card. Unless it's, you know, Jordan in a 10. But the, the spot you want to be in is on the top, which is in this series, that's the sticker. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. Jason Kaiser, you get a pretty nicely centered Carl Malone sticker. Let's see what the front looks like. The back's looking pretty good. Again, I just want to hit my button because I want to I want to boom those guys. I want to boom it. 
I want to boom it. So, by the way, that's this is a beautiful card. This is a beautiful stack. These are five dollars on BBCE. Five bucks for a pack, unless they've raised the price in the last couple of months. Go get some. Go to BBCE.com, Google it, and do order order put it put a hundred bucks into some cards. Get four or five of these and get get a bunch of other stuff. But these are five bucks a pack. And we've pulled some awesome stuff out of here. We've pulled Jordan All-Star stickers from them. So they're not searched. They're not pressing the packs. Guaranteed. You can look at our streams and find it. So, but here we go. That's a nice, it's nice. They're hard to find perfect. But we've seen a lot worse. Carl Malone, $180 and a 10. $180 and a 10 on that. That's a beautiful sticker. It's not a 10. They're really hard to find. You can tell it's off center, top to bottom, or right to left. But it's still a beautiful card, a beautiful set. Spot number 47, Liddell Eccles. Joseph Young. And then rolling out this, the second rotation, ending the second rotation, is Alton Lister. A, a slightly off-center Alton Lister. For, for spot number 48, Joe McKay. All right, let's, let's roll back to the top. We are in our third and final rotation. In the break, man, this is so fun. I'm gonna miss this. This is such a blast. 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 I don't know why that sounded funny. Blast. This has been such a blast, and it has been. I'm appreciative of you guys. I'm grateful that you guys took a chance on some weird unknown company, whether you found us through Instagram or an Instagram ad or a Facebook ad. You know, that's it. You guys found us by the luck of the draw, and you took a chance with us. And so, God bless you, and I'm very grateful for you guys getting into the action with me. Spot number one, back to the top. Jack Sigma, the legendary Jack Sigma. Okay, Peyton Geisler, Chris Gaten. Spot number two, you get a Akeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler All-Star card. That's a nice one. Sleeve that one. Then we got a nice Hall of Fame Laker coming in with his... Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar goggles. Let's check out this uh, All-Star card. Twenty-five bucks in a ten. James Worthy. Spot number three. Ten bucks. Hall of Fame action, though. We'll celebrate some Hall of Fame action. Nicely centered. It's going to Ryan Stefanski. No, that's going to Kyle Stinchcomb. Stick that in your personal collection. Spot number four, Rodney McRae. That one's Ryan Stefanski. $22, Reggie Theus. In a 10. Looks pretty nice. That could be PSA if you're doing a, a bulk order and you throw it in, take a shot at a 10. Take a nicer look, though. Um, spot number six, Clyde the Glide Drexler. Love it. A little off center. $20. Bucks. Robert Bisson, that's going to you. Spot number seven, Mark Price. Legendary Cav. We're sticking just a little bit. I don't want to reveal. Perfect centering. Perfect centering. It's only $14. In a 10. That's spot number 7. Spot number 8. Mike McGee. There's a world champion Chicago Bull. Jordan teammate. John Paxson, $22 and a 10. It's going to spot number nine, Randall Whittinghill. Spot number 10, Ken Norman. Spot number 11. Hall of Famer, I want to hit my button. I want to hit my button. Robert Parrish. 
Great centering. $13. So not a lot of value there, but it is a Hall of Fame. It's Hall of Fame action there for Steve Larkin. Spot number 12, Rory Sparrow. Spot number 13, Glenn Rivers. Which is actually Doc Rivers. $50 in a 10. So this is a surprise. You know, I, I was I've seen Doc Rivers, but there's a very young Doc Rivers. Is this his rookie? Nope, not his rookie. But Glenn Doc Rivers, $47 in a 10. Nice centering. Goes it going out to Jay Reynolds. There you go. So you got a you got a nice Doc Rivers. Not bad. So that was not a bad pack. We got Doc Rivers early, looking looking nice and young and, you know, getting it. James Worthy, Hall of Famer. Akeem Olajuwon, Clyde Drexler, Hall of Fame, All-Star. And a beautiful Carl Malone, All-Star, 89. I need to order some more of these packs for myself. That's just fun. That's just fun ripping. It is fun ripping right there. I'm going to do a little tech check. Zero drop frames. We're still streaming. We're still recording. YouTube looks good. Hit me up if you're tuned in. Say holla, holla at your boy. But let's continue on. We've got we're we're still on the Mahomes chase. And then the the highlight, the 88 Fleer basketball. So, Mahomes. This is what I'm gonna do. This is it's, it's my frenzy, my rules. Um, to save on shipping weight and make it a little easier on shipping, I'm not gonna send you guys commons. Um, unless you explicitly hit me up or something, I'm just, I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'll buy you the card if, if, if I throw, if I get rid of it. But I'm only going to give you the rookie, and if there's any big Hall of Fame and names, I'll, I'll, I'll give you those. But the rest of them I'm just going to put aside. To save on weight, the weight always helps a little bit. When we're doing whole packs, the weight can kind of take your shipping from like $2, $3 to like 5 bucks, $6. So I don't want to pay 6 bucks for a bunch of commons that you're going to throw in the trash. So... But we are looking, the card we're looking for is the back card, which is always the rookie. The back card is the rookie. So, Jamal Charles, Taz A. Sharp, Todd Gurley. This is going to spot number 14, Chris Vogel. And then, it's a nice Todd Gurley, but let's see. Our back card is our rookie. It's not a rated rookie, so it is not Patrick Mahomes. It is Hassan Reddick. So, I'm going to send you Todd Gurley and Hassan Reddick. We're looking for rated rookies. There's a couple other big time rookies in this set. Um, and we're looking for Patrick Mahomes. The last I looked, Patrick Mahomes was like 2 250 right after. Right after the Super Bowl. So it might have dipped down, but it might have just gone up. So Don Russ, come on, Don Russ. Don Russ basic. Where is it? Don Russ football. Football. Where is it? Don Russ football. Come on. Where are you at? It's the base, right? Where? How is it? Where's the pop up at? Optic, 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 optic. I don't even see it. Okay. I'll have to look it up another way. 2017 Don Russ football. Ball key highlights. Cardboard connections usually pretty good. Show me Mitchell Trubisky. No, there's autographs and stuff in here. What is going? On? You need to update, bro. You need to update your action. Let's see, what's this looking at? Like we're looking at a couple hundred bucks. For Patrick Mahomes. It was up to 200. I don't know if this is accurate. I'm just doing a quick, super quick look. Stock X has it as a nine for 150 bucks. So there you go. So yeah, two a, a PSA 10 is probably going to be. I want to find out what it is. PSA 10. 2017, Patrick Mahomes, Don Russ. 
We're, we're going to find it. We're going to figure out what this is. Three hundo. That's what I'm looking at. Six hundred here on eBay. People are losing their mind. Anyways, you guys can look it up. We'll see what it is. I, I, two, three hundred bucks is what we're looking at. So, enough chat. Back to the action. Tom Gatos, Ryan Matthews, Steve Smith Sr. Some nice names, but I'm not going to send them. And then our rookie is Raekwon McMillan. Send you your rookie in case he turns into some sort of sleeper legend. Spot number 16, Jason Kaiser. We need to see a rated rookie. We did not see a rated rookie. And this one does not have a rated rookie either. You can see by the coloring scheme. So Gerald Freeman, Rich Gannon. There's a legend card. Gerald McCoy. Gerald McCoy and rookie Sidney Jones. Come on. Oh, man, we needed some rated rookies. I've never gone three packs in a row without rated rookies. So this is rare. 18, Corey Ramsey. Let's pull you a nice rated rookie, Patrick Mahomes. No, 17. Robert Bisson, this is you. Jordy Nelson, nice name. Tevin Coleman, Kenny Stills, and your rated rookie on the back is Nathan Peterman. Quarterback, right? Isn't he the quarterback? that they drafted um, yeah okay so Peterman's rookie he's floating around the league um, I don't think he's starting for them who's starting for the for the Bills now somebody else I'm drawing a blank I'm so out of my football realm but you never know if he comes back you know and has a comeback career that could be a nice little card Spot number 18, now we are on to Corey Ramsey. I think I see, I do, rated rookie. All right, rated rookie. We got Ezekiel Elliott. I'll throw, you'll send you that one. Matt Forte, you're not getting that one. And Domigan Sue, love me some, and Domigan Sue being Detroit and all. A little bit of a falling out here. But your rated rookie is Los Angeles Rams, Cooper Cup. All right, that's not bad. You know, he's, he's having a bit of a career. Cooper Cup is a um, receiver, right? They don't put the position on here. Where's the position? That's weird. They do not put the position on here. But I think he's a receiver. But he's having, he's, he's you know, coming on, if I remember correctly. He's having a career, so, you know, not a bad hit. Spot number 19. Our last one for Steve Larkin. Let's pull you. So we do not have a rated rookie. We've got Dwayne Allen, Deion Sanders, Neon Deion, Geno Atkins, and Chad Williams. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. Send you your Deion Neon. That's it. That's, that's all she wrote. So here we go. The moment. Your big thank you. This is this is the big moment. This is my big thank you to you guys. Uh, I hope you guys got in on it well. We'll we'll give away whoever the last person who doesn't receive the third, you'll get the you'll get the wrapper. So the final guy gets the wrapper. We'll send that to you. This is a fifty dollar pack on BBCE. You know if you're gonna throw a hundo, grab one of these. Grab some eighty nine. Grab some eighty two. Tops baseball. They're not too expensive. Um, we're going top to bottom. Let's fill up our 88. We're looking for Jordan. Spot number 20, you're going to get the top card. I see red. I do see red coming through. I, I can't see a name, but I can see red. Jordan's red. Jack David is going for you. So, and we're looking for the sticker. The stickers are big money. Buku bucks. We're looking at ten grand for a Jordan sticker, so um, we're serious. This ain't this ain't no <laughs> no 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 small potatoes here. This is a, this is expensive. Graded. This pack is two hundred plus dollars. We were selling this for like fourteen dollars a card. For one card, it was fourteen bucks. So, you know. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up a price list. 
bear with me. We're in the we're in the home stretches. We're gonna be out an hour and a half this this week in our final week. Pulling up some prices. PSA ten for the base stickers. Crazy money. A thousand dollars plus on just about everybody. So drum roll. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to show you. You guys can see the back. I can see the back card. It's a huge Hall of Famer. Somebody's going to be really happy. I don't know. I don't know what the condition looks like, but I love this pack. I love these cards. This is my my jam. Growing up, I'm going to save the pack for somebody. Got rid of the gum. This is my jam growing up. I love this design. I love this design better than the 86 design, to be honest. I'll take 86, though, because there's so much value there. But the 80, the 87, I don't really love. I mean, I'll take a Jordan for sure. I ain't going to shake a stick at a couple grand right there. But um, I like this set. I like this design. So I see some, some all-star cards in there. I see – I saw who's on the back. I do not know the condition, but somebody's going to be very, 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 very happy in about – 15 cards. So, PSA 10, values. We are looking for Scotty Pippen, $1,600 for a Scotty Pippen rookie card. Michael Jordan All-Star is 1000 Michael Jordan Base is now $755. Reggie Miller, rookie, 600 Clyde Drexler, 500 Dennis Rodman, rookie, 500 John Stockton, 440 and then it gets into the hundreds after that. But those are what we're looking for. Starting out, spot number 20, Jack David, Cliff, Levingston. Boom. Fire pack. Fire pack. Right out of the gate. Spot number 21. Card number two in the pack. Justin Hatton. Oh, my goodness. A beautiful, perfectly centered Magic Johnson all-star. That's a sharp card right there. And back to pack. Holy moly. Fireworks. Fireworks. This pack is paying off right away. Magic Johnson All-Star. $34 in a 10. That's a beautifully centered card. Justin Hatton. Fire that off to PSA if you're doing a bulk order. That's worth a grade at, at, at quick glance. You take a better glance. But spot number 22. Another All-Star card. Oh, my, my heart jumped a little bit because I saw blue. I'll show you what I saw. I saw the blue and the yellow. I saw blue and yellow, and my heart jumped because blue and yellow is Reggie Miller, rookie. But let's stay, let's stay present in the moment. We got Charles Barkley in spot number 22, all-star, just crushing somebody. Who's he crushing there? Just powering somebody like, get out of my house. Barkley in the house. Barkley being Barkley right there. Beautiful. All-star card. Going out to Steve Larkin. Barkley. All-star. $32 in a 10. Well centered. A little off right to left. A couple percent. Again, I, I saw that next card. I saw that yellow and that. And I was thinking Reggie Miller. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. But it's Wayne and Tisdale. Whew, I saw some red. My, my heart jumped again. In the next card. So we're spot number 23. John Thomas. Wayman Tisdale, $25 in a 10. And that's actually perfectly centered. At quick glance, that's a beauty. That's gradable. I'm going to throw it in a protector. Spot number 24. And rolling out the end of our rotation back into the bottom half. John Williams. Bullets. Very well centered. John Williams. A big $12 in a 10. It's a beautiful card, though. Okay, now we are in the, the, the final run. We're not going to get quite to the bottom of the list for third pulls, but pretty close. Spot number 25, Chase Lively. You've got a beautiful Purvis short. 
there's some surprises on value here, so I'm just going to kind of glance, double check as we go, even with the names I have no idea who they are. Per this short, 10 bucks. Spot number 26. Bob. Bob Hansen. Okay. Oh, I, I remembered something that I mentioned in the promo, but I did not mention on the stream. We've broken two of these paid packs. We've done two PSA graded 88 packs. We have pulled two Michael Jordan base cards. One of them could be a PSA 10. So we're running hot. We're running good. And I'm just, I want to put that into the public ether. But, and we're going from probably the most inexpensive card in the set, Bob Hansen, in spot number 26. Spot number 27, John Thomas, you just hit Chris Mullen. Rookie, if I'm not mistaken. And you've got, oh wait, sorry, my bad. I'm wrong. I thought that was the rookie. I was about to, that, that's a funny moment. I was about to lose a gasket. I thought this was the rookie. It's only 20 bucks. Still, Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, Chris Mullen. We'll take it. I don't know why I got confused on Chris Mullen. All right, you're 88 for the basketball. Okay. I, I thought it was the rookie. I was about to be like, bro, you just hit like six hundo. But it's not. Chris Mullen, still Hall of Famer. Beautiful. Actually, perfectly centered. So, hate to pump fake you there, Chris, uh, John Thomas. But still grade worthy, I think, at first glance. Spot number 28, and we're still looking for that third Jordan, so come on, let's get that third Jordan mojo. Dale Ellis, Supersonics. It's going to Chase Lively. John Thomas, you're back in the rotation in 29 with a all-time legendary Detroit Piston. Dale Ellis, by the way, is $32. So. Beautiful Vinnie Johnson. And we are about to roll out and round out the last couple cards here at DreamWax.shop in the Free For All Frenzy. $18. Spot number 29. John Thomas, Vinnie Johnson, looking at $18 and a 10. And Greg Anderson. You're at 22 bucks in number, that's number 30. So that's John Thomas. And then, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful how karma works out? Spot number 31, the, the, the guy who has blessed us the most by giving everybody in the website that wants one a beautiful DreamWax.shop t-shirt. I'm rocking it right now. It's right here. Everybody's getting one. Karma pays off. Spot number 31, Magic Johnson All-Star Sticker. It's not a 10, but coming in at a 10, we're talking $2,200. We're off center, so, but it's still, it's a rare card. It's a beautiful card, and it is going to the Ray, the J. Ray man himself, J. Reynolds, J. Ray Graphics. I'm glad you hit. I'm glad your karma paid off. You blessed us, and the cards blessed you. Blessed it. I just made that word up, and you get the sticker. I love how that works out. Oh wait a second. Am I? Oh my gosh, I'm wrong. I miscalled it. I miscalled it. J. It was spot number thirty. What's going on here? J was spot number thirty. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Greg Anderson. I'm sorry, my man. But just because I messed that up. As you guys know, when I mess something up here at DreamWax, I make it right. So I'm going to send him. I think I've got one of these in my personal collection. I've got a Fleer Basketball sticker that's this nice or nicer that I'm going to fire off to you, Jay Reynolds, just because that's how we roll. Love it. So George Pestino, you get the karma too. You get, you get yourself a beautiful, potentially $2,000 Magic Johnson All-Star sticker. You can tell it's OC, so it's not there, but it's still beautiful. It's a rare card. And then spot number 32, Jay Reynolds, okay, circling back around. Jay Reynolds, you are getting the wax pack. So spot number 32, Jay Reynolds. Love, 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 love it. Um, thank you guys. Again, I've, I've thanked you enough. I've said how awesome you guys are. Um, I'm blessed by you guys investing in this adventure. 
that I have been on the last six months of Dream Wax, five, six months, whatever it was. Um, hey, I realized when I was doing the the public, when I was doing the public, hold on a second, I'm gonna swap card view for face view. Not that one, not that one, that one, okay. So, when I was in the last broadcast talking, and I was, I was revealing all the secrets, I, I was saying that we go to BBCE, um, you guys can go to dream, uh, go to justripit.com to get a similar experience. You can go to vintagebreaks.com to get a uh, similar experience. They do the same thing. If you need to fill your vintage break online viewing experience, go to those guys. There's some other companies I'm sure that are out there that are breaking vintage wax. But I also wanted to pull back the curtain before I let you go on GAI. GAI is a company that graded packs back uh, in 2010, 2011, 2012, around that time. They went bankrupt by 2013, 2014. And they used to be the, in the first part of the company, GAI. And you saw that we broke a few of them on here. We broke um, one of the, I think our 88 Fleer basketball was GAI from a sealed case, uh, from a sealed box or sealed case. We did a couple. And there, there is a glitch with them. Most of the GAI, a lot of the GAI is good. It's pristine. It's, 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 they were so well respected. But later in the run, you had somebody that took over the company who I guess, rumor is, actually searched some of the cards and some of the packs. The quality control got bad. And then by the end of it, it was just off the rails. They went bankrupt. There was a bunch of stuff that went down. Google it. You'll find in like some of the sports card forums, uh, you'll find the history of GAI. But I want to tell you guys this because I want you guys to be aware that some of the, the, the later graded GAI stuff is questionable. And that's the stuff that my understanding is from um, serial number 104 XXXXX, the 104 series on, I think is trouble. Not saying that everything in there is searched, but there can be some issues. Now, one definite way to look at it is the old silver labels are by and large good. They're by and large good. They sh you should be all right with the old silver labels. I think there is some 104 series or higher, um, but the 102 is good, 100 is good. Um, that Those are the people who graded it, and those are trustworthy by the industry standards. But the later ones, and then the white series are actually not very good. I'm, I've learned that as I've come along in this journey. Um, and so that's actually why I, I stepped away from, if, if we'd have been going moving forward, I would have done hardly of any GAI. I just don't trust it. I don't want to do it. I, we used to have a 1968 wax pack on the site we were selling slots for. So we, um, I took that down and actually sold it. Uh, I sold it on eBay. I flipped it. And because I just, I just don't feel that comfortable with GAI stuff anymore. And I don't want to suggest you guys. Um, if you see a GAI, I know that Just Rip It, God bless them, they do rip a lot of the white label GAI. I already think their prices are a little bit high, to be honest, in general, even for their PSA. But if you still want to get in on some breaks and you don't mind paying the little bit of a premium with, uh, with JustRipIt.com, I just encourage you to avoid the white label. Um, the white label. I know Charlie is poo-poo on, oh, whatever, it's, you know, that's all hogwash. Um and, and I just don't trust it. So I would encourage you guys. He's not really worried about it. He wants to sell that. Great. People are probably pulling great stuff out of it. But I would encourage you guys, because I care for you guys, and I want to see you guys getting in on legit breaks. Don't buy into the white label GAI. And also don't buy into anything that's like 104 serial number or higher from GAI silver label. But by and large, this, the old silver label is good. It's clean. It's, it's, it's you know, good stuff. Um, and just Google that. You can Google GAI grading company history and you'll find forums that break down all that. Also, go back into that, that site I mentioned, the web join. If you love what I'm doing, you've you got to get on Facebook and you've got to be on Vintage Wax and Packs. That, that group. Find me, KT Thomas. Um, you, you find me on Facebook. You'll see that I'm in the group. That's the group. Um, I think, let me pull it up one more time. It's right, it's right there. Vintage Wax and Packs. Where am I at? Oh, right here. 
get in that group. There's tons of information. They'll tell you what's good and what's not. You can even take screenshots of, hey guys, I'm gonna buy this on eBay. Does it look legit? They'll tell you, those guys are geniuses. They know all about sealed wax. I've gone to them to see if my stuff's legit before I brought it to you. Um, and they'll let you, they'll, they'll give you the lowdown. So, and they'll tell you the history of GAI and um, the history of PSA and their grading of, unwa of unopened material. So there's a lot of dodginess in the industry. I've tried to be as legit as possible because, you know, it's no fun if you're pulling garbage. It's no fun if you're pulling pre-searched packs. It's no fun if you're, there's no chance of a Jordan being in there. And you know we've pulled multiple Jordans out of 88. Um, I told you in the last broadcast the only way that I was going to break my dream wax, my ultimate dream wax, would be to break an 86 Fleer basketball pack. And the problem is they're so um, – you can you the guys that know the order know which packs have Jordans in them. So you've got to get your pack from a perfect source, a source that is absolutely untouched, either a sealed box from a sealed box or – Honestly, the only place I was going to do, I was going to buy, if I kept the site going, I was going to do the 86 Fleer Basketball. I was going to buy a PSA pack from BBCE and sell it to you guys because that's the only way I'd trust it. Um, and who knows? I might still save up a couple bucks and go buy one from BBCE and break it. It's like 1100 bucks, 1200 bucks. Um, but yeah, anyways, love you guys. I'm sorry to rant there at the end. I just want to make sure you're pointing in the right direction. Um, all the best. See you. I'll break some stuff from time to time on YouTube and just put it up there on the website. Keep up with me on uh, DreamWax Instagram. Keep up with me on KT.Future Instagram. That's my personal page and my music page. And hit me up on Facebook, KT.Thomas. Love you guys. Be blessed. Look for your cards in the next week or so. You know, I take my time. I'll send them out in the next week, 10 days. Look for it with the t-shirt. You're getting a free t-shirt. David Mackey, what's up, bro? Thanks for popping in at the end. You hit some cards, man. I don't know if you were watching the whole thing, but you hit two massive Hall of Famers in the 82 pack. So go check it out. Um, let me know your shirt size. If you haven't already, email me, info at dreamwax.shop. Or just get at me anywhere. Message me somewhere. Let me know your shirt size. I will throw it in the packs. Otherwise, I'm still throwing a large in. Love you guys. Be blessed. Thank you for going on the adventure. We're out.